we're starting this week's video in exciting fashion. I was lying in bed this morning and I was thinking to myself, I need to defrost the freezer. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Mind you, it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. We think this is the last block of ice. Let's have a look underneath. Yeah, yeah this bit here, this is the last bit. Oh, I might, I can almost break it. Oh my God, I got it. You just got it everywhere. Ice everywhere. We've had this freezer uh, for just over two years and we've never done it. And I was trying to put a loaf of bread in here during the week and I was ramming it in. Yeah, same. Because there was so much ice in there. So I thought, do you know what? Saturday morning, defrost the freezer time. How did you, how did you figure it out? Figure what out? Oh jeez, I should have just got it started in the match. Oh, Joss has started a Fortnite match. <laughs> He's left me. He's left me. Um, but yeah, I think we're nearly there. It's been about two hours of trying to melt the ice with a hairdryer and and stuff. So we're nearly there. But we're going to get all the ice melted, and then I'm going to give it a clean, let it dry, um, and then get it switched back on again. I want to try and do it ASAP though, because we've got food in a cool bag that's uh, starting to warm up a bit. So. Need to hurry up and get this done. All right, everybody. So we're all finished with the freezer, and oh my goodness, look how clean it is! And look, ah, oh, effortless. Ah, oh, incredible. Ah, oh, so easy. I don't have to go bang anymore. I am fully aware that you guys probably couldn't care less about our freezer. But this is a part of our life, you know? It's something that's been bothering me, so I thought that I should share it with you, you know? So, you know, sharing's caring and all that. So, freezer is defrosted. Just gotta wait for it to cool down, and then we can get the food back in. You know, day in the life, Saturdays, weekends, this is what it's all about. I also found some blackberries that we picked last summer lurking in the freezer. Mmm, oh, so delicious. Really good in porridge. We'll have those tomorrow morning with my porridge. I've just put a wash on as well. We're getting our clothes nice and clean as we speak. This is like the standard Saturday morning housework that we do. Washing up, done the washing up, done all of that. Clean the bathroom. I always clean the bathroom. After I have um, a shave, I clean the bathroom. Saturday mornings, unless I have time on Friday afternoons, but I usually play golf on Friday afternoons. So do that on Saturday mornings. And while this is all going on, Joss is sat in this spot right here, playing on his Nintendo. Like he always does. Was it FIFA now, is it? He was on Fortnite earlier. But also, Joss has taken quite an interest in goalkeeping at football recently. And he says that he'd like to spend some of his remaining Christmas money on getting some new goalie gloves. So I said that maybe after we've had lunch today, we could go into town again. Um, and have a look at some goalkeeper gloves maybe. And then play some football, I, if the I weather's alright. Because I won a tournament. At, a bit grey um, at the moment. Yeah, Joss won um, a football tournament on Thursday and he was goalie. And he said he only let in three, three goals? Yeah, or six teams. Yeah, but he stayed in goal for like the whole tournament. Um, so he really wants to get some goldie gloves to take to football club uh, next week. Not next week, the week after next week, so it's half term. Um, but yeah, that's something we can do this afternoon. Maybe play some football. No! Um, I don't know, I also wanted to do some gardening this weekend. I was looking at my Instagram posts, and it was about this time last year, I like cut the lawn for the first time. So I looked out the window and I was like, oh, maybe I could do some gardening um, this weekend. But I might do that tomorrow. Um, but for now, we're just going to chill out for an hour or so. Uh, before we have lunch, um, and then we'll catch up with you guys in a couple of hours. We're at the All Lucky Best Sports Shop in Merston. <laughs> Joss's favourite shop of all time, Sports Direct. We're on our way. Actually, you know, the, the, the um, Nike shop is my favourite. The Nike shop's your favourite. Anything to do with sports, though. Yeah, but we're going in Sports Direct again, guys. Goldie gloves. And, and, and we can have to look at some football shoes, maybe, yeah. but we're not going to get any today. These, these are quite, these are quite small for me. Yeah. I think I need size three because when you wear football socks, they make your feet bigger. Yeah. All right, let's and go. These are only size two, and I'm size two e. 
you know where the goalie gloves are? Down here? I have no idea. Well, I assume they're with the football stuff. Goalie gloves are here? Yeah. Okay. Would well, you want to pick some ones that you like? I don't know what size you'd need. You'd probably have to try them. Yeah, they're quite cool. They're only 11 pounds as well. Yeah. We'll have a look and then try some on, pick some. Does that fit right? Where are your fingers at? Oh, yeah, they're good. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like them? Yeah, they've got um, they've got finger saves. They're too big. Yeah. What are they? They're a six. Let's see if we can find a five. Yeah. Which ones were they? They were on here. Yeah. I think they were oh, pretty they're much the same. Oh, we've got they're four. Happy, oh, that's a five. Yeah, they're those. Do you want to try them? Yeah. Try the five. Look at all these different boots. Forty-one. That's not too bad. Maybe you could save up some money and get them. I have forty-one pounds, yeah, but that's including my money at Mummy's. Yeah. Oh, they're quite cool though, the yellow ones. Yeah. I used to like pumas personally, but they're quite cool. I don't know, we'll get them another time anyway. But we're going for the uh, Goldie Gloves, size 4. Uh, we can't try them on because it's got a tag on it, isn't it? Um, yeah. But we're going to ask if they can take it off and we can try them. But we're pretty sure that... They have the one of those they? plastic tags on them as well. So my fingers don't bend back. Yeah, the finger save thing yeah. is. We're going to go in the toy shop just for a little wonder. Have a look, see what's going on. Look at all these jigsaw puzzles, guys. So many puzzles. What are you looking at? Legos? Oh, look at that. Minecraft Lego. Mm. That's pretty cool. I've got my finger now. You can't what? I can't let go. <laughs> When you're walking around with your goldie gloves on. Lego is just so overpriced, it's crazy. Yeah, so much money. Because um, grand, one of my granddad's friends, um, he had um, a Lego, and it's a um, Harry Potter one, mm. and it's £363. Oh my god. And, That's um, outrageous. And it has, like, it has 107 bags. <laughs> and he's... And he's Built like a quarter of it, and it's yeah. like that big. Oh my god, that's insane! I'd quite like and to do it, but to complete the Lego Infinity War. So it's expensive. Yeah, it's it's so expensive, isn't it? For what it is, you build it and then you don't really play with it again, do you? But it is fun. Football courts are busy, so we're back in the tennis courts again, like last week. But we're testing out the gloves anyway. Are they any good? Are they grippy? Ooh. We thought about getting a new football as well, because this one's getting a bit tatty. Um, but we thought we might as well wear this one out. Ah, oh, that was annoying. <laughs> uh, before we get a new one, but maybe another day. But we're going to play football for a little while before we head home, while it's still light. Um, but I'm not going to bore you with the football, because we did a football video last week. So we'll catch up with you in a couple of hours. Once we're tired, and I've got another bruise on my foot from kicking footballs. You stopped it dead? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take my coat off, I'm melting already. So we're back home, just had dinner. Half past seven in the evening, which means that it's pudding time. Joss has got a couple of Oreos, which is pretty standard, and he beat me at basketball earlier as well, so I said he could have a milkshake. I'm having um, some tinned apricots um, with some granola. This is really tasty. Um, I'm having it with a lovely ginger drink that I got earlier, and then. Um, Becky's got a cheesecake. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, you've already eaten half of it. <laughs> it's got bite marks in it. Send it back. But Becky's got a uh, gluten-free vanilla cheesecake, um, which she got reduced, which is actually really good. Um, I love a cheesecake, but that's Becky's cheesecake. I'm going to go and sit in my usual spot over here. So I'm going to put my drink there. And then... Bit of granola. Oh my god, I'm I'm so excited for this. And then down we go. Oh, what Fortnite? Yeah, I might play some Fortnite in a minute. Let me have my pudding and my drink first, though. So we might do something 
uh, the three of us tomorrow all together. And it's also half term next week, which means that Joss doesn't have school for the whole week. And he's staying with my mum Monday, Tuesday, oh. Wednesday, I think. And then he's coming back to us um, on Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I think that's what's happening. But I'll check uh, tomorrow with my mum. But we're going to end it for today anyway. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And make sure you come back tomorrow for Shout Out Sunday. I think I've got uh, four or five people to shout out so far. So busy Shout Out Sunday tomorrow. <laughs> but that's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. So until then, take care of yourselves. Stay alive. And have a lovely day.